guide these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and plunder. True. The Northmen are fierce, and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath before God to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil, as we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosle, kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say, Eivor of England. You saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Eva, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Frankia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off for silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We are not part of your kingdom. <laughs> and I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he lets Siegfried's Thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen Amiens were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. My men will escort you out. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. I must return to camp and tell the others what Odo said. in time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravensthorpe, the Skalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind. A fierce wind can snap a tree, even one as strong as Odo. Is Charles the wind, or will he break like a reed? Now. Two things we must do to carry this siege. First, we shall take some ground for catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. Now. 
might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toka. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler, a woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover, just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself, but uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. Now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to her and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, Uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason. But Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking? We should speak to the fat king. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give up. Perhaps Togus. Go, need. My... In, I would... What do you... To lay the groundwork for the, the groundwork for the siege. What to do first? Did I hear you speak? Uh, oh, it, that. Uh Seven crowns upon his seven heads. 
Smuggler must know the island. 